Here's a few movies you should check out currently on Netflix Instant. Horror Thriller. Kill Theory. A bunch of friends get together at a secluded house, and a killer shows up and forces them to kill one another. Essentially, they have to kill one another, and whoever's alive at the end is allowed to live. It's an interesting concept that it doesn't go as far as it should, but it's still an entertaining watch. Kung Fu Action. The Game of Death. This was sort of Bruce Lee's last film. He was shooting footage for a movie, and the filming stopped so that he could work on another film. After that film, he died, so this one was never actually completed. So six years later, a director came along, and by using the footage that they had already shot, as well as some archival footage and body doubles, uh, they were able to complete this film and put together... Uh, sort of Franken film and called it the game of death. I know some people feel that uh, they don't like this because they think it exploits Bruce Lee's death. But I still think it's a worthy viewing because the majority of the fight sequences, especially the very memorable ones, was actually Bruce Lee. At the very least, the fight between Bruce Lee and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the movie's worth seeing just for that sequence alone. Documentary, Drew, the man behind the poster. This is a documentary about Drew Struzan, the artist who's done pretty much every amazing poster you could possibly think of. Uh, it covers his life, uh, how he kind of started up in the industry and how he ended up doing movie posters and how movie posters today completely suck. It's sad because uh, you see in the beginning where he's talking about uh, the work that he was doing and how he was making these revolutionary beautiful pieces of art for album covers and stuff like that and he was paid tiny amounts of money and it wasn't really until he got into uh, doing movie posters that he actually was getting paid I think according to what he should have it's really interesting you should absolutely watch it sci-fi action dread I'm doing a video on this very soon so uh, if you haven't watched the movie yet uh, check this out, and then Sunday night or so, you should be able to watch my video. This is a reboot of the movie series for the character of Dread, and it is absolutely phenomenal. It's one of the best comic book movies, and actually it was one of my favorite films of 2012. Like I said, I'm doing a video on it very soon that'll go a lot more in depth, so I'm kind of biting my tongue a little bit and not talking about it too much. If you haven't seen the film yet, absolutely watch it. It is so worth it. Foreign Horror, Jew on the Grudge. This is one of the quintessential J-horror films, right up there with The Ring. The concept of this is so amazing because it breaks down the boundaries of what is a ghost house. There's so many movies where people go into a haunted house and once they get out of the house, they're safe. But the concept with this is that once you go into the house, you're cursed. And so the revenge ghosts will follow you anywhere incredibly creepy, very unsettling, totally uncomfortable, and light years better than the American remake. That's all I got for this week. I'll see you next time.